All right, fellas, we have scouted this draft class, gone through free agency. Now it's time to hop into the NFL draft. Our team has a lot of picks this year. Um, and when I say a lot, I think we've got upwards of 13 picks. We've been moving. We've been shaking. Let's see. We've got a first round pick at number 32. We got three second round picks this year. One from the Rams and run for one from Buffalo. Uh, we've got two third round picks. We've got one, two, three, four, five, five fourth round picks. Got two or three fives, a six and four sevens. So we can do some moving around in this draft. The problem is a lot of the guys that I like are come are going to be later round draft picks. So there is a possibility that we do trade out of that first round pick. Look to trade down a little bit, or uh, we just take an early shot at one of these players. Now, here's a look at the board. Uh, you see a lot of tackles, a lot of right tackles, a lot of offensive linemen on our board this year. Um, the one player that I am truly, truly interested in, and I think can be a really good player for us, is right here. Darren Norwood from Texas A&M. Uh, 6'4", 227 pound wide receiver. Uh, he has A catching traffic, B deep route running, uh, A to C catching, A spec catch, A short. Problem is we do have T Higgins still on the roster. Now, Darren is said to be a second or third round projected uh, player. I honestly think he has first round talent just based off of what I've seen uh, through his uh, traits already. Um, if we don't go after him to the second round, look for us to go after a player like R.J. Pruitt, the corner from Georgia. Nice length, 6'3", 199 pounds, 21 years of age. Uh, he ran a 4'4", uh, So that means he has great speed. Uh, he also has uh, B-man coverage, B-press, and B-tackle with C-catching. We have put Jalen Bullard on the trade block. Uh, we are not picking up his fifth uh, year option, uh, so he will be looking. We'll be looking to move on from him uh, before the end of the uh, before the beginning of the season. So this opens the door for a new corner to step in. I think Pru would be a solid player, um, but if if he's still around at number thirty two, or if he goes earlier, man, or if there's a run on corners, we might look to trade up to try to land a really good corner. All right, welcome to the 2026 NFL Draft. And with the number one pick this year, it's the Arizona Cardinals. Now, they've made some moves this year, bringing in a lot of players to go around um, Tyler or Kyler Murray, who's still the quarterback. Uh, taking a look at the roster, they picked up Kamara. Uh, they got Buda Baker still. D-Hop is still here. They've got uh, Hollywood Brown. They've got A.J. Dillon at running back, and they went and picked up Chris Olave um, in free agency this year. So a solid wide receiving group, uh, really good running back group. They've got three really good running backs. Uh, they'll probably look to go offensive line maybe, even though they have a really good long left tackle, maybe uh, defense pass rush here. Um, yeah, they need a pass rush. Definitely need a left, left defensive end. Or... They trade out of this pick. Let's see what Arizona is going to do here. And with the first pick in the NFL draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Travion Underwood, the right tackle from Florida. All right, so the Cardinals go right tackle with the number one pick. Let's see what the Jags do here with the second pick. They're going to take Oscar Stripling, the outside linebacker from Oregon, a really good pass rusher. Uh, just added more depth to the a really good uh, rush court that they have on that defensive side of the ball. Here are the Lions in at number three. Is this a place for a quarterback? And they're going to take Michael Springs, the hefty lefty from NC State. That's a good pick, man. They have their quarterback of the future now. Browns are here at number four. And they're going to take... Dwayne Waddle, my opinion, the best offensive lineman in this draft from Notre Dame. Somebody to block for Deshaun Watson. Here are the Vikings in at number five, and they're going to take Zach Carnegie, the big defensive tackle from Virginia. Saints in at six. 
And they're going to go Trey Barrett, the quarterback from Memphis. This kid is fast, and he loves to get outside the pocket to extend plays. It's a solid pickup for them. They needed a quarterback. Bears are on the clock here at number seven. And they're going to go Greg Hanna, the offensive lineman from Oklahoma State. Here's Baltimore in at eight. And they're going to go Deion Wheeler, right tackle from Vanderbilt. So a couple offensive linemen here in the first 10 picks. Titans are on the clock in at number nine. And they're going to take Marquise Robertson, the quarterback of the year in college football from Texas. We get to see him a couple times a year now. Here are the Niners on the clock. And they're going to take a quarterback, Stephen Cook from Indiana. What does that mean for the future of Trey Lance in San Francisco? All right, Eagles are up next at 11. And they are going to take Deshaun Hayward, the defensive end from Arkansas. Here's Vegas in at number 12. And they're going to go Jacoby Thorne, defensive end from Miami. Jets are on the clock here. They're going to go Connor Whitfield, the left guard from Oregon. Here's Tampa Bay at number 14. And they're taking Marco Bowden from Clemson, the wide receiver. All right, at number 15 is the New York Giants. And they select Bryce Wheatley, defensive end from Washington State. New England is up next. And they are going to take Victor Woodley, a middle linebacker from Oregon. MIA, yo, the Dolphins are here at number 17. And they're going to take Jermaine, Jermaine Royce to the wide receiver from Georgia. Broncos Nation, let's ride. Denver's on the clock here at 18. And they're going to take a quarterback, Seth Michael from Georgia Tech. He's going to be the future of the team. Going to get to learn behind Russell uh, Wilson for at least two, at least a season, right? Here are the new look Rams with Justin Fields at the helm at number 19. And they take Alex Cunningham, the outside linebacker from LSU. All right, so we've reached number 20 with Green Bay. And the Packers go R.J. Pruitt, the corner from Georgia. As you guys know, that was one of the players I was looking at. So we're looking to make a trade. We're going to move up to number 21 here with the Cowboys. We're going to send our first round pick and a third round pick for number 21 uh, in hopes of landing this player. So with the 21st pick in the NFL draft, the Houston Texans select Andrew Thompson the third safety from Penn State. Not mad at it. Here are the Bengals in at number 22. And they're going to take Ryan Harris, the wide receiver from Mississippi State, teaming him up with Jamar Chase, uh, Tyler Boyd, and Joe Burrow. Number 20, and the 23rd pick goes to the Buffalo Bills. They're going to take Demetrius Tate, the wide receiver from Colorado. Now we got to think here. It's a run on wide receivers. Darren Norwood is the second best wide receiver on the board right now. We got to trade back up again. All right, the Chiefs take Jared Sawyer, right tackle from Oklahoma State. Here's Carolina with number 25. And they take Neil Fredrickson, the big center from LSU. Chargers don't need a wide receiver. They just picked up DK Metcalf, I believe, in free agency. And they go Cameron Clifford, the left tackle from Washington State. Now, Pittsburgh does need a wide, rec a wide receiver. All right, we're looking to trade back up here in the first round with thinking of taking uh, the big wide receiver for Texas A&M. We're going to send two second-round picks to the Steelers for number 27. I think that's a hell of a deal. Um, 
And that solidifies, that makes sure that we can get our player, man. So we're back into the first round at number 27. And it's time to go get our wide receiver. I've had my eye on this kid for some months now. I think he's going to be a stud. 6'4", 227, Darren Norwood. Welcome to Houston, baby. And he comes in with hidden development. Let's go. Great pick by Houston moving back up to get it, to get their player, and we still have a second-round pick left. I love it. All right, let's finish out this first round. The commanders are on the clock, and they're going to take Antonio Chisholm, the right tackle from North Carolina. Here are the Falcons in at number 29. They're going to go Greg Grant, outside linebacker, Texas A&M. Our rivals, the Colts, on the clock right now at number 30. And they're going to go Adrian Fowler, right guard from Auburn, getting some help on that offensive line. Here are the Seahawks, the NFC champs. And they are going to take Riley Taggart, the center from West Virginia. And the Cowboys round out the first round at number 32. And they select left guard Mar Marquise Wheatley from Texas A&M. The Niners are on the clock. And they take Addison Thomas, the corner from Eastern Michigan. It's one of the guys I just have my eye on, too. Here's another one of our rivals, the Cincinnati Bengals, picking right before us. And they take the corner I was getting ready to draft. Rayshon Tompkins from Purdue. Yikes. <sighs> All right. All right, so with our second round pick, we're going to add some depth at a, a defensive tackle. We just traded away uh, Christian Barmore. We picked up another D tackle in free agency, but let's draft one here. I like this kid a lot. Tom Robinson from Alabama, 6'4", 307. I believe he had a, the fifth fastest 40. He's the second strongest D tackle in this class. Uh, he just sounds like a really good player. We're going to make him the selection, man. Comes in as a uh, normal development. Okay. All right. We have entered the third round now at number 20. That's we are, where we are picking. And like I said, man, we have a lot of picks left. <laughs> um, We still need a tight end and a corner. Um, I mean, there's Martin Hall. From Alabama, terrible zone coverage, has C man coverage. He's six two, ran a four four five forty. Okay, best corner on the board though is somebody who's five nine. I can pass on that. Braylon Cummings from Southern Miss sees across the board four five. We need a backup tight end. Um, so we're going to go Eric Dotson from TCU, 6'6", 265. Um, not that great of a catcher. Uh, it might be a better run blocker than anything. So we're taking a – oh, my God, he has hidden development. Yo, what? <laughs> On the slower side, 76 speed. But that's a good pick, man. Hidden development, I'll take it. All right, now we're in the fourth round. Um, we have filled every need except for corner. Um, and Martin Hall is sitting here. Um, he's got a day three grade on him. He's six two one ninety six, ran a four four five. Not the strongest. Vert not that bad. Uh, he's got B catching, C man coverage, D play rec, C press, D zone coverage. I'm willing to take a chance, man. Let's go. We're gonna take Martin Hall. Corner from Alabama. Okay. Normal dev, 91 speed, 92 acceleration. All right, two picks, three picks later? Two, three picks later, we're back on the clock. Uh, picking at number 14 here in the fourth round. Not too many guys left on our board here. Um, Damon Holcomb, a speed rusher from Ohio State, is still here. Like that. He was fast, too, wasn't he? Four six six forty. 
He has the first overall cone drill, third on a twenty yard shuttle. Why not? Let's take a let's take a shot, man. Let's take Damon Holcomb, defensive end from the Ohio State. Okay, comes in with normal dev, eighty two speed, eighty eight acceleration. Not mad at that. All right, let's take him, man. Isaiah Henry. He has 87 strength with normal dev. I'm interested to see what he looks like, man, because some for some reason, these, these just don't add up. So we're looking to make a deal here with Atlanta. Just added more depth to our cornerback room. Uh, Emmanuel Hodges, a 73 overall corner. We're going to give up our late fourth round pick for him. And we get it done. Um, you know, just add more depth. He's uh, His contract is low, so if we don't like him, we could always release him. Uh, what I'm doing right now is just looking over the trade block to see who's on the block. A lot of good players up here, a lot of young players. All right, so we're making another trade here. This is our fourth pick, our fourth round pick. Uh, we're on the clock right now. We're going to send this fourth round pick to Tampa Bay for Demetrius Blaylock. He's an outside linebacker, spe uh, pass rush specialist. Um, he really hasn't seen a lot of playing time for them. Um, he's got... Uh, one sack for his whole career. It looks like he started uh, last uh, two years ago, and this year he was more of a role player. Um, my thinking here, just adding depth to our pass rush. Um, you know, we've got Branch, we've got Grenard, uh, but we can have some guys to kind of rotate in and get some more playing time, man. So let's see if we can get this deal done. And we do, man. Welcome to the team, Demetrius Blaylock. All right, man, we're hitting the trade block again. This time we're going after a wide receiver. Again, just adding more depth to the wide receiver room. We're going to give up a fifth and one of our sevens to get Glenn Ward from Buffalo. He only has five catches in his career. Uh, he's 6'1", 190. He's a deep threat. Again, just adding more depth to – oh, they oh they want more for him. All right, so we hit the trade block again. I think we might have found a little diamond in the rough, man. This is Cam Foster, wide receiver from the Cardinals. He was a sixth-round pick two seasons ago. This kid has 97 speed. Again, we're looking to get faster at wide receiver, man. We're going to give up our five in a seventh round for him, and we land him. Let's go, man. Adding more depth to an already really good wide receiving group. So we're going to make a selection here. This is Andrew Bryant from the Ohio State, six foot 228. Um, we're just going to take a shot in, the, shot in the dark with him and see what he can do. Uh, he comes in with 81 speed, 88 acceleration, more of a pass coverage guy, um, maybe a special teamer for our, for our squad. All right, we're going to add another wide receiver to our group, man. This is Marco Castro, wide receiver from Houston, 6'5", 221. You know I love my tall wide receivers. So he's a pass rusher, 4'6", 6'40". Solid shuttle. He's got A awareness. Power move sucks. Pursuit is, is trash. Hit power is a D. I mean, the sixth round? Let's take a shot at this kid, man. He's fallen. He was projected to go second or third round. We're going to get him in the sixth round. This is Walter Whittington from Florida. He's part of it. 80 speed. All right, here we go, man. This is this is our first of three seventh round picks. Um, let's go to Sean Bentley. Let's go to Sean Bentley, the right tackle from Temple. All right, so with our second pick in the seventh, we're going to take Caleb Muldrow from Texas A&M. All right, so we get the Mr. Irrelevant pick, the final pick in the seventh round, and we're going to take a kicker. This is Tim Carter from Colorado, 5'11", 180. Uh, he's got B kick accuracy, B awareness, and sh A short accuracy. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, but we're going to take him and see what it does. He has 96 kick power. 
Wow. So overall, not a bad draft for our Texans. Uh, I'm real happy with the moves that we made and the players that we picked up. Uh, I'm excited to see what Darren Norwood is going to look like in a Texans uniform. Uh, we actually picked up a few players from Texas A&M. That squad was stacked this year. Alabama, a couple players, Ohio State. Um, but I think we made some really good moves, not to mention the guys that we traded for uh, that's going to add more depth to this team. Um, you know, we're, this roster is taking shape. It could make another run for a Super Bowl. All right, so that does it for the offseason. Now in our way is the preseason. We we're on the road. Uh, going to take on the Carolina Panthers. Then we're home for the Bears and back on the road for San Francisco. But look who we kick things off against in week one. Taking on the Colts again after winning a ring. Um, man, this is season five. I can't believe we're already in season five. Probably be the last season of this franchise um, with Madden 24 on the horizon. Uh, my plan is to do at least two episodes a week for you guys um, as we go through the summer. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff outside of YouTube. So uh, two videos a week is what I'm, I'm scheduling right now. Probably going to be at the beginning of the week, end of the week, or maybe the beginning of the week and the middle of the week. Uh, if you guys want to keep up to date with everything, man, make sure you follow me on Discord and follow me on Twitter. That's where I post most of my updates. Uh, and as you guys saw in the draft, too, man, there were a lot of guys that had the YT at the end of their last name. Uh, that was because those are members of this channel. And when you become a member of the channel, you have an opportunity to become a created player. So make sure you guys check that out, man. I believe my memberships are only going for 99 cents right now. Uh, so that's a deal. Make sure you guys go check that out. 99 cents to become a member. And I have a few other projects that are coming in August that you guys are going to want to be a part of, uh, especially if you are into creative players. All right. Just throwing that out there. Well, I'm excited for season five. Uh, I'm excited to see what this team is going to look like in the preseason. If you're unaware how we do preseasons, all the preseason games are in one video. I don't play preseason game number three per se. Maybe this year. We'll see what happens. Shorter clock time. Um, and a lot more opportunity for uh, players on the bench to get more playing time, right? But thank you guys so much for taking out the time to watch the video today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new. Don't forget to ring that bell. Join the Noti Squad. And check out all my links down in my description, all right? I'm going to holla at y'all from the preseason. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace. Big shout out to all the members that support this channel. If you would like to become a member, check out the link down below.